Focusrite Scarlett Solo 3rd Gen USB Audio Interface If you've recorded anything in the last few years, whether at home or in a top-tier professional studio, you've undoubtedly used Focusrite equipment to process and enhance your signal. From the early consoles that the great Rupert Neve created for producer George Martin to the mass-produced machines within reach of the rest of us, the company's interfaces and mic pre's are famous, and how accessible they are today. Introducing the Focusrite Scarlett Solo 3rd Gen, the newest model in this popular line of USB audio interfaces, in a machine that is little bigger or more expensive than an effect pedal. This new device offers years of recording experience and tone. Despite being small, Scarlett Solo is a complete professional. The device's red anodized appearance is largely focus rights, and it exudes quality. Everything you'll ever need is on the front panel once you connect it to your computer via USB and run balance cables to your monitors. The 1x4-inch input can be switched between instrument and line levels, and the game knob's wide range makes it capable of handling both strong vintage signals and hot active pickups. The XLR input is located to the left, indicating the Focusrite Mic Pre's Neve-like goodness. The Scarlett series' new front panel air switch is intended to bring the preamp even closer to Focusrite's ISA Mic Pre's beautifully beguiling sound and atmosphere. You will also receive switches for zero latency direct monitoring, 48 volt phantom power, and a headphone jack. Everything is understated, tidy, and refined. Along with the Focusrite Red 2 and three plug-in suite Focusrite drum tracks, Pro Tools, first Focusrite Creative Pack, Soft Tube Time, and Tone Bundle and Splice subscription, the Scarlett Solo also includes XLN Audio Addictive Keys, Ableton Live Lite, and a number of other software packages. Phew. In other words, as soon as the installation is complete, you can make a full arrangement if you have a guitar, a cable, and a microphone. Tracking a Carvin Jason Becker guitar with high output active pickups and an ancient applause acoustic electric with a very meager piezo. I put the gain control of the 1x4-inch input to the test, and I had no trouble matching levels. It was simple to track in Pro Tools and Cakewalk by BandLab, as it should be in this day and age. With the help of the direct monitor capability, it's simple to record with plug-in effects and listen in real-time with the powerful and user-friendly Focusrite EQ software that comes with the package. Bravo! Focusrite claims that utilizing premium microphones will make the air function more obvious. So I connected my new Manti L-127 condenser and gave it a go. I can hear a small but musical change. I liked what it did to my Laravee Dreadnought's mic'd up tone and how it made the mids speak a little more clearly. To be fair, the guitar's mic sounded pretty damn nice anyway, but having access to the air circuit is undoubtedly helpful. And in the belief that more is better, I laid down three tracks, one with air activated, one without it, and one direct that included the Fishman or his onboard signal. The music that emerged was just magnificent. A bandmate of mine uses a Scarlet Solo as an interface between his keyboard and laptop to access a ton of fantastic sounds and capabilities while on stage because the device is so portable. It probably has a place for this, regardless of how complete your home studio or live setup is. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like it if you did. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. Wishing you all the best until the next video.